Yo, what's up, what's up? Uh-oh, -uh. it's your boy Lil Yah from UNLV, you wait me? Hit that like and subscribe button. Tell a friend, tell a friend about this year, you wait me? Check it out, check it out. I want to run this up about when UNLV actually had a show with Tupac and Lafayette. That's right, UNLV had a show, a real concert with Tupac in 1993 and Lafayette. Man, it was a wild night that night. Man, man, man. We were signing Cash Money Records at the time. We went out there deep, the whole entourage. UNLV, PMW, uh, BG, uh, Miss T. I think Miss T was there. I know BG and PMW were there for sure. Lil Slim. We, we, were, we, were, we were cop. You know what I'm saying? The whole label went. So what happened was Tupac went on stage. This, this, this during the time... Dear Mama, oh, it was that Dear Mama album, Tupacalus, matter of fact, it was that Tupacalus album, he was promoting that and doing his thing. He was known in, in, in uh, Lafayette, but it wasn't until, you know, he passed away, he got that, that big, you know what I'm saying? I mean, in the beginning, he was big, but he wasn't as big as his death row days, you feel me? So, Tupac actually got on stage, and some dude snatched him, oh, the other microphone off the stage and said something small to him like something about Tupac, your bitch, whoop de whoop. We remember it so good because Tupac had on like a big old flannel shirt with no t-shirt, the flannel shirt was open. He had just got that thug life tatted on his stomach because when we was actually running it with him, you know, we just looking at his stomach, you could tell it's fresh tats. It wasn't even colored in yet. You know, so we run a cool dude, you know what I'm saying? He went on stage and dude picked up the microphone and said what he said. Tupac said something and jumped off the stage and went to whooping the dude. Man, the thing about it, he had like like 15 cats on stage with him. And ain't none of them going in that water with that man. None of them. Tupac, little bitty dude. I'm talking about like a little, I'm five, five and a half. Tupac had to be like a half an inch taller than me. Maybe an inch taller than me. Real, real skinny dude. You know what I'm saying? With the heart of a lion. He jumped in that crowd and it been like a motherfucker. They cut him, stabbed him with bottles. We looked we looked like we in a DJ booth. We just looking down at this shit. The crowd just going crazy. You see a dude just stabbing him with a fucking bottle all his stomach. He bleeding like a fucking pig. You dig? The police finally grabbed him and, and inject him back. Tupac still was scrapping. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga went out like a fucking soldier for real. They snatched that arm. He had a big ass arm bone on his neck. They snatched that. I don't think he got that back. But yeah, man, that fucking, that Lafayette. It was at Club Strawberries. You know, y'all do y'all research. A lot of people from uh, from that area that was going to school around that time, USL, they, they, you got to remember that, man. You know, Tupac came to Louisiana. That probably was his first time going to Lafayette. You know, I'm pretty sure. He had them been in New Orleans before, but that was his first time in Lafayette. And UNLV definitely rocked that thing, rep, you know, holding our own. You know, that was a legendary memory that I definitely remember, you know what I'm saying? So, shots out to Tupac, R.I.P., man. Shots out to uh, Big Shaq. You know, Shaq had a fight in the same spot. I'm going to leave that for another up later on, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, strawberries went down. I even got another L for y'all about Bone Thugs and Harmony when we got into it got into it with them in the same place. Club Strawberry. We got into it with uh, with Bone Thugs behind Cheeky Black. You know what I'm saying? Cheeky can vouch for that. I might just get Cheeky on here with me and let her help me run that up. You wait me, that'll be some games to see. I need y'all to continue to fuck with me on this level, you wait me. Like and subscribe. And oh yeah, I wanna say I wanna appreciate Send a, a big appreciation to everybody that subscribed to my channel. You know, if, if you notice, I went from like uh, 24 people to, to 1,000 overnight. So that's good. That's progress. I'm seeing progress in this. I plan on sticking with it, you know, adding it to my repertoire. You wait me. Y'all know I'm a man with many heads. That's what I do. I hustle. I'm a hustler. You wait me for real. Shouts out to my big dog, Tech. Be home in a minute. You dig? 
Y'all keeping me y'all prayers. That's all I ask, you feel me? None of that evil shit, neither. None of that evil shit. Pensanola in stores, you already know how it go. Cop, download, all the new slang. You scream it, it's all good. We number love for y'all, man. Uh-uh, holla back. This is my episode about when we had the concert with Tupac. You heard me? Yeah.